What is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel. There's something I wanted to try for a while and that is gaming on a Mac and there's this service called Shadow and I wanted to try this on my Mac Mini 2018 with the 3.6GHz Intel Core i3 processor and 8GB of RAM. And how that works right after the intro. Alright, so first things first, what is Shadow? Shadow basically turns every kind of machine into a gaming machine, so you can use your Mac like I do, or you can use an old PC or a tablet or a phone or whatever is supported by them. You just need an internet connection for that with 15 megabits per second, that's what they suggest, and you can start playing immediately after you sign up for this service. So I did a speed test with my internet connection here at home and as you can see it's pretty decent, got 60 megabits download and got around 10 to 12 megabits of upload which is not really necessary but yeah we have a pretty decent download that's all we need for gaming with Shadow and this is how Shadow looks like. So you basically get a full virtual machine, a Windows machine with a 256 gigabytes uh, solid state disk. You can basically install everything you would install on a regular PC. And I installed a couple of games and also did a speed test here in Shadow itself. And as you can see, it's pretty amazing. They have a gigabit download basically. So we reach over 1000 megabits of download here also a pretty decent upload as you will see in a second so it's a 100 mbits upload as well so that's pretty decent basically a ping of three milliseconds it's awesome so jump in the first game which is forza horizon 4 and you can see i have this on high settings on my 1440 display 60 fps locked and pretty decent settings really really decent settings so Let's see how that performs in game. And yeah, that looks pretty nice. So basically what you do, you stream the game to your Mac or tablet or whatever you're using. They support controllers. As you can see, I'm using a PS4 controller. I just plug this with a USB cable into my Mac and it just works plug and play out of the box. Nothing there to do. And for a racing game like Forza Horizon 4, this is pretty decent. It's solid, playable and I will also have a couple of other games coming up in a bit and you will see how it performs there. Alright, so the next game I started is Apex Legends and as you can see in my video settings I also set this to 1440 my display uh, resolution and everything is on pretty pretty high settings. So texture streaming is on 6GB of VRAM, texture filtering 16 times yeah basically everything on high which is uh, everything which is possible on high settings but here you can already notice that it's a bit laggy for me it was a bit laggy i mean the graphics look decent here i switched to my controller so you can switch from keyboard to controller as you wish everything works out of the box nothing to do there just plug in your controller and you can use it so that's a pretty decent thing but i wanted to try this with a bit lower settings so i turned off the anti-aliasing and set this down to high to four gigabyte vram go back to four times texture filtering and some low settings for shadows and stuff model detail on medium effects on medium impact marks on low so let's see how that looks Pretty much the game still looks decent. It's a bit better, I would say, but not really that much better. I mean, for an FPS shooter like this, I wouldn't really recommend playing on Shadow, but yeah, it works. And But if you wanna play competitive, then I probably wouldn't recommend this. So the next uh, thing I wanted to look at is Fortnite. And also here, 1440 resolution, everything on Epic. And here you can see it is pretty laggy on Epic. I mean, everything works. So I changed the settings immediately. I went back from Epic to high and on high settings. Now everything is smoother. Everything is pretty decent. Graphics still awesome. So you just can 
use it as any other game but also here might be the problem that it's a bit laggy so just out of curiosity i set all the settings down to uh, pretty much medium or turned off shadows and anti-aliasing view distance to near uh, yeah pretty much the game looks not that great but still playable and it's pr quite smooth fps rates are okay and it's pretty playable as well so i also got a kill and also here you can see the controller works uh, pretty fine uh, i used it for my convenience because i'm used to and then it's the last game fallout 76 which i was a bit disappointed i tried everything i started the game a couple of times i turned the graphics down so the graphics worked on ultra settings as well turned it down to high and restarted the game after that and basically the game is working everything loads quite fast from the ssd but the problem is my mouse wasn't working no matter what i did you can see the graphics look pretty decent i can walk around with the keyboard but I can't really do anything with the mouse. I mean, it works in the menu, it's pretty laggy. So when I go into the menu, you can see that it's working there. I can scroll around on the map, but I don't see my mouse pointer. I even restarted the virtual machine, but nothing seemed to work. So with this title, I don't know, that was really disappointing. So I can't really show you much more of this. But besides that, all the games I tested worked not too bad. So. What's my conclusion on this? With Shadow you get a pretty decent machine. You have a 1080 GTX graphics card, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, so a pretty fast mas machine. Super fast internet connection, you've seen it. It was a, a gigabit download, so you can download games pretty, pretty fast. It has its price, so if you're in the United States, it doesn't work everywhere. Uh, if you're in California, for example, there it works. And you would pay $29.95 if you take an annual plan, so that's around $360 US dollars. Uh, if you decide to go with a month to month plan, it's uh, $35. If you're in the UK, you would pay uh, 27 pounds basically for the annual plan or 30 pounds if you uh, decide on going month to month. Uh, you can also use uh, a code. I have this code for you in the description as well. You can basically use this code and you will get uh, 10 pounds off or I guess it will be $10 off if you use that code for the first month. So you can try that. If you want to feel free to use my code and i would recommend trying it it's worth trying it so if you use my code you only pay 17 pounds so you can try everything for one month and you will see how your experience with it goes and i would say for games like forza horizon 4 or maybe even other story games it's pretty decent it's nice it can replace a gaming machine but for shooters, I don't know, it was a bit laggy on me. In Fortnite, it worked not bad. It supports iPads, it supports iPhones and laptops, whatever you want to use. Just try it. You will download a client and just connect to a virtual desktop. And I would say that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe and, and bell button to get notified about all my upcoming videos. Thanks everyone for watching and see you next time.